Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are in the old room. Um, for people who followed me back, like way back, you would have recognised this room. Now, I have got braces in. So, I haven't actually talked a lot in them. So, I don't know if it's going to hurt when I've been talking for 13 minutes straight about horses. But, I'll try my best. Um, let's see how we went last week with the units. So, last week was... A bit down, um, we only had one winning race, which was race 5, over exposure 1 and delectation girl run a place, so that was good. Um, but we're still in front all time by quite a bit, so we're pretty comfortable at the moment. But before this video starts, I'd like to announce my new Twitter account. This Twitter account is for daily Victorian race meeting tips, because I know some of you want to know um, about my daily tips and want them. And it's on this Twitter account, so the link will be in the description. Go check it out, and you'll back some winners. Race 1 is a 2-year-old handicap over the 1,300 metres, and Picaronis is the $2.80 favourite out of Artorias at four forty, and the first start of Shadow Heart at $6. Um, but this is the last start replay of Artorias. I thought this was a good debut behind Jigsaw, considering this was over 1,100 metres, and... It sort of got run off its legs a bit, but through the line it was very strong. Step, step up to 1,300 metres will suit. Has to jump from gate 11 on the weekend, which isn't ideal, because um, it will have to go back, and you can see it's a bit green after this performance. Um, the race day experience do it a world of good. I think it's a really good chance. Now, these are the last start replays of Picaronis and Sunfall. Picaronis ended up winning the race. Um, very encouraging debut from Picaronis. Um, drawn gate 3, which is... Basically the perfect gate, I think she'll get the perfect run and maybe the straight's a bit long but it can work. Some of all with three wide no cameras still managed to stick on and do well. So Artorias goes on top, head of Picaroni's Sunfall, as I said, three wide no cover last start, deserves to win. Shadow Heart, it was a good trial, it was definitely a good trial. Um We'll be storming home late with the long sand down straight. Artorias, 30 units to the win. If it wins, we'll already make a profit for the day. Race 2 is a benchmark 64 again over the 1300 metres. Irish Butterfly is the $4 favourite, and Jimenez and Ulta Ranger are equal second favourites at $6. Um, this is the first up win by Ulta Ranger. It went to the front and managed to hold on and win. Um, I thought it was a very good win, this one. Considering it was first up, second up will be fitter and will run better. Um, yeah, and it didn't beat much of a field here. Gate 11, it, I don't know where it's going to map, so that makes it a bit, bit hard to assess. Um, and that's why I haven't got it on top. This is the horse I've got on top, Irish Butterfly. Um, now, this was its first up run. It ran second in a benchmark 70, um, which is good for this race because this race is benchmark 64. Second up will be fitter as is Ulti Ranger. Um, gate 6 is a perfect gate, can just settle off them. Damien Thornton sticks with it. Um, I think $4 is a pretty good odds for Irish Butterfly, and I've got it on top out of Exeter, who is the class horse in the race. Gate 2, Damien Oliver ticks. The weight is the question. Ulti Ranger and Junefield's been well supported early by the market. Dean Yendall goes on. Gate 5, good gate, but Irish Butterfly is going to be my tip for Sandown Race 2. Race 3 is a benchmark 78 over the 1300 metres and King Shear, it's out. Don't worry about it, it's scratched. Um, so second slips the favourite ahead of Imperial Lad. Um, and this was the re recent replay of Imperial Lad. Now this was when it was first up. It was a big price on this occasion and ended up winning. It was gelded heading into this run. So I think it's really come on since it's gelding. Second up will be fitter. Um, gate wants a perfect gate for a front runner. It was a big win. Um, it looks among the leading chances here. It definitely does. Mark Zara going on is a big tick as well. And the other horse we have to look at is Second Slip. Now, this is trained in Adelaide from Will Clark, and Jamie Carr takes the ride. Why is Will Clark and bring it down to Melbourne for nothing? It, But this horse is a dual acceptor as well. Um, it's dual accepted for here and for Morpherville, so actually Gawler. So him, we'll go one or the other. This was a very good win considering... Um, it was the only front runner stuck on and all the other front runners just dropped away. Um, so I've gone second slip. Gate 9's a bit sticky, but it'll go forward with Imperial Lad and they'll fight it out, I reckon. Run to perfection. Um, good gate, good jockey, 
class horse, and Triton Rising will be running on from the back in case they overdo it up front. 20 units, the win on each, Imperial Lad and Second Slip. Race 4 is an open handicap over the 2400 metres, and equal favourites are Mosh Music and WT at $3.80. And Bartholomew DS is at four dollars twenty. Um, this is the main lead-up race, consisting of Mosh Music, WT, and Stars of Karim. I thought they were all pretty good runs. It probably suited to be a back marker. Through the line, WT wasn't very strong, so I'm not sure it's ready to step up to the twenty four hundred meters yet. That's why I haven't got it on top. Stars of Karim never never wins, but I thought it was the run out of the race out of the three. And Mosh Music look. In, Fourth up, it'll be peaking and can win. Um, I've got all of these in my numbers, I'm pretty sure. So they'll both, they'll all run good races. I think all of these runners will run good races as well. I've got St. Eustace on top in the race. Um, if you watch through the line here, it was very, very strong. Um, I like how it's at Sandown and more that it's on the hillside track. Gives it time to wind up. And hopefully at $9, Storm over the top of them. It only gets in with 52 kilos. Bartholomew Diaz never wins. Um, Jukon will be will give itself every chance up on speed. Rock on with St. Eustace. I think $9 is over for this horse. Can run well at a big price. Stars of Karam never wins, but I think it can run second. WT, look, it's a class horse and will always run on an honest race. Mosh Music will be peaking fourth up and can do well. But St. Eustace, hopefully at $9, can pay dividends. Race 5 is a Phillies and Mares, benchmark 70 over the 1,600 metres, and Jamie Carr is on the favourite, Quantum Mechanic at $2.50, um, from Intellective at six fifty. dollars um, This was a replay of Quantum Mechanic on New Year's Day. Um, Fundraiser and Caffrey are in the race. They go um, in a better race later in the Sandown card. Um, it should have won this race, Quantum Mechanic, with even luck in running. Um, gate 3 can settle closer than it did on this occasion. We're fitter now. It's third up on the weekend. Um, it's, ready, it's ready to win one. Like, if it doesn't win on Saturday, I'll be surprised because um, it's against such a weak field. Cancino at a price can run well. I think it's over the odds. Lara Chess from gate 2 will go forward and give itself every chance. Again, coming down from Adelaide. Why would it come down if it's for no reason? And Intellective. Um, the top weight can run well, but Quantum Mechanic um, has a good chance, just a tad short. Race 6 is really hard. It's a three-year-old handicap over the 1,400 metres, and the favourite is Duke of New Orleans at $3.40 from Milton Park at four sixty and Bella Tiara at $4.80. This was a recent replay of Milton Park, El Salto, and Still Be Friends. I've got Milton Park on top on the weekend for Damien Oliver. Um, gate 7 on the weekend will go forward hopefully settle outside the leader. It's been at 1,400 metres three times and one or three times. Um, this run will really bring it on. Zach de Boss, I think, is a good horse and it beat it. It'll be fitter, and I think it looks among the leading chances again, Milton Park. Piggy and Mud is the other horse we're taking a look at. Um, this was its maiden win last start, um, second up. It's third up on the weekend, so it should be hitting peak fitness. Um, I think it's worthy of consideration considering Jamie Carr wrote it on this day and she's riding it again today. Gate 5 is ideal. Um, Sandown, I think, is ideal. So everything will suit it. It's just whether it's good enough. Um, that's pig in mud. I have got Milton Park on top, though, as I've said. Bella Tiara was a good win last start. Um, it's had a lot of runs this preparation, but gate two, Dean Yander will be going well. Pig in Mud and Duke of New Orleans, a favourite, will go forward and give itself every chance. Not suited to the hillside track, but Milton Park, in a low confidence race for me, can hopefully get the job done. Race seven is a benchmark 84 over the 1500 metres, and Grinzinger Ali is a $2.60 favourite ahead of Caffrey at $3.20 and Fundraiser at $3.70. Um, but the first replay we're to look at is of Grinzinger Ali. Um, this is its. This was its first up run where through the line was very strong and will definitely improve further up in distance. Um, it should have probably won with clear luck in running as well. Um, gate four is ideal for it on the weekend. Fifty four kilos is ideal. Jamie Carr goes on, which is also ideal. A definite improver, and I think it'll run well. I think it's the best of the day to be honest. Grinzing Ali. It's just so well placed here in this field. Um, Caffrey and Funraiser are the other two we're having a look at. Um, Funraiser's won three in a row, and um, back to the 1500 metres will suit this galloper. It will take some beating. Caffrey from gate one can settle closer than what it did on this occasion, um, and it never, hardly ever misses the placings. Um, so I think 
these two gallopers will run really well. Probably Caffrey more, but I'm still in the corner of Grinzinger Ali, and that's why I've got it on top. Head of Caffrey, as I've said, rule the world um, last weekend um, from that wide gate, went forward and ran really well on speed. Fundraiser, um, as I've said as well. But Grinzinger Ali, 30 units to win for my strategy. Um, hopefully, if it wins, it won't be a terrible day. Race 8 is a benchmark 70 over the 1500 metres and Heart of Poissons is the $2.80 favourite ahead of War Critic at 6.50. 8.50 for both King Magnus and Arctic Shock. This is the main lead up race. Consists of a lot of runners. I think Arctic Shock, Whittington, Stone and Spud are the main ones to take out of this race. I've got Arctic Shock on top of the, at, in the we, on the weekend. I think it'll just be hitting Peak Fitness 4th up. Gate 7 is an ideal gate. Um... Gets back onto the hillside track, which will get will suit it. And it always does something special when I tip it. So I think Arctic Shock can win this race on the weekend. King Magnus and Sunday Prey are the other two. I think King Magnus more. Um, it'll go on speed and give itself every chance. Its last five runs, it's had a win in two seconds. So it's always consistent. Um, look, the hillside track isn't ideal because it's a long straight. Um, but it always runs well and is a definite winning chance um, on the weekend. So Arctic Shock and King Magnus are my two on top selections. Spud was caught wide with that cover in the Arctic Shock race and through the line was very strong. Heart of Poussons is the class runner. First up off a long spell, couldn't find a jump out is concerning though. In a low, low, low confidence race, I've gone with Arctic Shock, King Magnus and Spud as my main three picks. And the last race, race 9, is a benchmark 78 over the 1,000 metres. Equal favourite to $6, not enough effort in China affair. Some down the pages are in single figure odds as well. This is the main lead up race. I did it for love, China affair, and not enough effort. I think they've all got pretty equal chances. I did it for love, won this race. And I don't see how it's the bigger price, gets the claim in. Um, 650 looks spoilers at the moment. I think it's better around the bend anyway. Not enough effort. I think it's better around a bend two. Um, and it'll be better suited second up with a weight swing on. I did it for love. China Affair was good. And, you know, second up will be fitter. I think those three are the main chances. Fine Dane will go forward and give itself every chance. Um, but I'm struggling to see how I did it for love is a bigger price than not enough effort and China Affair. Um, they've both got all really good chances. That's why it's $6 the field. But we'll have a look at the, my plays of the day. Um, 30, the units to win on Artorias um, at $4.40. Then race 3, we've got 20 units to win on both Imperial Lad and Second Slip. And then race 7, 30 units to win on Grinzing and Ali. Hopefully a profit and we can go into next week feeling confident. <laughs>